guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry about the awful fake lighting. We are having another rainy weekend here in LA, which I'm not complaining about. I love it. Actually, everybody else I know is complaining about it except me and Bradley. We love it. <laughs> I hate filming in fake lights. I much prefer natural light, but I did want to film this today and get it up for you. So we're just, that's what's happening. So I don't think I've ever done a Valentine's Day specific decor haul. I love how I just uploaded a video saying I want to buy less stuff and then I have a whole haul of here's a bunch of tiny things. But I have a problem. I have a tchotchke decor holiday themed problem. That is in my, um, I uploaded like a New Year's chat. I can link it up in the corner. Don't look over here. But I do have some fun stuff to share, some Johanna Parker stuff. I There are a couple more things I'd like if I can find them, but if not, I'm very pleased with this. But yeah, just some random stuff from Target. I have some fun candlesticks that can obviously be used for more than just Valentine's Day. I also, I will link it up in the corner, I think I can, but I, I have made two blog posts this year, website posts. I feel weird calling it a blog because I mostly just neglect it, but one of them was kind of this. It's a Valentine's Day decor haul slash gift guide, and it includes more than this, things that I want to buy but I'm not buying, but just everything that I thought was super cute that would work well for a little gift for if you're doing like a Valentine's thing, mostly just Valentine's Day gifts to yourself or just fun decor ideas. Also, my son, husband, and dog are downstairs stairs. They can't go outside. They can't go on a walk. I usually film while he's napping, but if he's up, Bradley usually takes him out on a walk, but it's pouring rain. So if you hear them down there, they're having fun and I apologize. <laughs> but anywho, that blog post is super fun. It has all of this stuff plus more if you want to check that out. And it would just mean a lot to me if you checked out my website. It's very simple and basic. I am not good at like the tech web stuff, but basically you just scroll it and if you see something you like, you can click the picture, it'll take you right to the link. So yeah, thank you for checking that out if you have, or in advance if you do. But these are the items that I did pick up this year. <laughs> He's so chatty these days. But these are the items that I did pick up this year to decorate with for Valentine's Day. I, we already have a bin of some things, but I don't have a ton. I mostly bought stuff for the kitchen. That is where I like to do most of my like themed decor, the living room, the kitchen, and especially for holidays like Valentine's Day and like Easter, I'll just keep it to that. So it's like less clutter throughout the rest of the house. Maybe a few fun touches in my son's room because that's just fun. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'll start with Target. I got this super fun garland and at first I wasn't gonna get it. I was in store. I could kick myself because I was in store. They had two left of, um, I'll pop in a picture. I linked it on the website, even though it's sold out online to see if your store near you has them. But they're these little pink ceramic like birds. They're so cute. They were, they look straight out of a Disney movie. And I was like, oh, I'll buy it next time. And I, I, they're gone and I could kick myself, truly. I check the website often to see if they're back in stock, either online or in my store and it's never there. So if you've gotten your hands on it, major kudos. I'm jealous. <laughs> but also when I saw that, I saw this garland and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I eventually picked it up. It's 10 bucks, which is not bad. I bought kind of the similar equivalent, um, their Christmas candy cane garland. It was kind of like a knitted situation, but it was also only $10 and I really liked the quality of it and the look of it. So um, let's open this. I love how big these hearts are. And I of course love the little like white pom-pom things. Um, kind of a thin string, so we'll see how that goes. But I love that it's multicolored, like all different colors of pink and red. You guys know during Christmas, I was on a garland obsession and it's just gonna continue throughout the rest of my life, I think. It's just such a fun way to spruce up a little space. Like I could hang that back there on my headboard. So cute, the fireplace mantle, just anywhere. I also like that it looks like handmade. I don't, I doubt that it is, but that is just like a nice fun touch for some decor, but you guys know I love polka dots. I love these colors and I just love how big the hearts are. So I picked that up. This is still in stock as of now online, so I'll link it down below. I will link whatever I can down below. There are gonna be some things I can't link just cause they're home goods finds, but what I can link will be linked and also check out the blog post for more links. Okay. Okay, something else that I saw once and I the, I went back, I feel like a couple of days later and they were already gone. These little dessert figurines, like, are you kidding me? These were in the dollar spot. They were $3 each. It's a cupcake 
cake, a cake, and there was also a slice of cake that I really also am kicking myself for not buying because I said, oh, you know, if I if I want it, I'll come back and get it. And then I couldn't stop thinking about it. And when I went back, it was gone. <sighs> that dollar spot, stuff goes fast. And it's just crazy because if I hadn't gone that day, I probably wouldn't have seen them at all. But I first fell in love with this. Well, first of all, as a kid, I just was obsessed with fake food. I don't know how to explain it. Every time we would go to like a store that had refrigerators to buy or fake kitchens, I would always open up, like Home Depot, I'd open up the fridges and there was usually fake food and I just, I loved it. Even now Milo got some like play kitchens for Christmas and I'm loving playing with the fake food. I don't know how to explain it. I just love fake food. And this reminded me of the cake in Minnie Mouse's house in Toontown in Disneyland. You like touch a button and the light comes on and like a cake bakes. And it just, it, I don't even know if it looks anything like this, but it just looked like a cartoon cake and I loved it. I thought these would be so fun for a Valentine's Day shelf Sunday, or maybe somewhere just like on the counter, um, but it's just so cute. So you got the cake with the pink and then the white frosting and the red hearts, and then you have the cupcake, which is like a red velvet cake with kind of like light pink frosting and a red heart on top. I love them so much. A little cake stand to put this on, I can't deal. So I keep scanning these into the website. I know sometimes they put the dollar spot stuff online and I they, it just every time it says item not found. So check your dollar spot. Let me know. I hope you find the cake too. It's a slice of like strawberry cake. It's so, what is wrong with me that I didn't buy it? And then lastly from Target, I picked up this peanut butter and jelly. Now I started collecting these I was still in the apartment. I remember when I found my first one and I was like, oh my God, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It was the avocados, which they have the avocados again. I will link them down below this year. But every year since then, they release like new little guys. I bought one last year or maybe it was the year before. I cannot for the life remember what I bought. Watch it be peanut butter and jelly. But I usually have a better memory than that. I'll keep the tag on just in case. <laughs> but the peanut butter and jelly, they're so cute. They're like these little, they call them felt duos. Um, they're holding hands, they're in love. This guy has like a little heart in his hand. They're so cute and they just sit somewhere so they can sit again on your kitchen counter, a shelf, anywhere. They're just the cutest, they're five bucks. They also have crackers and cheese this year and eggs and bacon. So <laughs> they're so cute. I'll link all four of them down below if you want to check them out. But again, just super easy at Target. That's it for Target. I did randomly find these little strawberry candles on Amazon. These shadows are bothering me so much. But I did find these little strawberry candles on Amazon. I was looking for something else and these just like popped up and I was like, those are the cutest things I've ever seen. They are, however, much smaller than I anticipated, but they also do still look like real strawberries. They smell pretty good. They don't, I don't know. They smell strawberry-ish, but not totally, but they smell good. And they're just so cute. <laughs> Again, the fake food obsession, but I just thought this would be so cute on a little dish. I can't decide if I'm gonna burn these yet or not. Maybe I'll burn a couple and then keep a couple for decoration. I love a candle, you know that, like a decorative candle that I never burn. But these are so cute. You get a four pack for, I think it was $10.99 and they also came in pink. So super cute, I'll link them down below. Again, fun for the kitchen. I'll probably put a couple of these by my bathtub where I light candles most often but I love them. Next I have some fun candle sticks that aren't necessarily, of course, Valentine's Day, but they are like kind of pink themed. So I picked up another set of my very favorite like tapered candlestick. This is from World Market. I, this was on sale. I wonder why, they better not be discontinuing them. Um, but they're, I think they're called like the spring candle. They also come in green and blue, um, but I just love the pink. It matches the rest of my candles and it burns so beautifully. I already used up two of these. And when I saw them, I was like, I need to buy another pack. They're just so nice and pretty. Also Anthropology just released a candle that looks exactly like this. And it's probably triple the price. I bought, uh, these were on sale. I got both of these for $3. I think they're normally like $7 for both, which which is still a great price for how great they look and how long they last. Um, but I, I just love like the ribbed detail. I love the pink color. I love a scalloped edge. You guys know that. So um, these are super fun. And that would be a great little Valentine's Day gift for a friend or like your kid's teacher or something is a, a little candle and a cute candlestick, which World Market also has a lot of cute and affordable candlestick holders. I'll link my favorite one down below. Ugh, and then these I've been eyeing online in Anthropology. We were at the mall the other day making some returns and I have a, I had a gift card. And so I went in there and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna buy these candles even though they're too expensive. You get four of them for $36, which is too much. But the cashier gave me 40% off 
for no reason. She was like, ah, a lot of candles are 40% off right now. I'll give these to you for 40% off. And I was like, thank you, you angel woman. But I am obsessed with these. So they come in a lot of different colors, but I love the color blocking of them. Anthropology always has really nice tall candles, which is so fun. Um, but they have some like really bold colors, like hot pink and orange. I honestly want all of them, but I just liked um, this kind of muted light. It's like a lavender and blue situation. I just love it so much. I cannot wait to burn it. They're so beautiful. I'm having a real candlestick obsession. Um, I think I'm going to link a few of my favorites on my Like to Know It page. That's another thing I've been trying to use because it makes it so easy. It's the Like to Know It app. You don't even necessarily have to have an account with them, but every now and then I'll make like like my Friday Faves collage situation, but instead of going into detail of every product on my Instagram stories, you can just click it and it will take you to a page of like, Oh, for instance, I'll make one of the candlesticks, you click it, it'll take you to a page where you can shop all the candlesticks if you see something that tickles your fancy. So if you ever see that on my Instagram, just know that you can click it and you can shop the page. You don't need the app. The app is fantastic though. I have it and I follow some of my favorite like decor influencers or parent influencers. And so I can check back on their page if there was something they use that I wanna check out. Um, so I am trying to be better about updating that. But yeah, it's just a way to share more and share quickly. And I love to make those little collages. And so I wanna make some of my current favorite candlesticks that are in stock and these would definitely be in it. And they're just so beautiful. Okay, I lost my mind while I was filming this video and I forgot to mention this candlestick that I treated myself to from Urban Outfitters. It is on the website blog post, but it went on sale and I bought it and I love it. It is so cute. As you can see, it's just a bunch of like stacked hearts. Let me set it up for you so you can see. It doesn't have like the best <laughs> base. I still have a Christmas needle. It's so cute and it's a pretty good size, so. Um, I thought it would be a little bigger, but it's still pretty good. But I just absolutely love it. I'm not, I might just burn it once or I might never burn it. It's just so cute. But I definitely wanted to throw it in this video because it's one of my favorite things I've purchased for Valentine's Day. They have it in pink, this right here, and then they also have it in white. Um, so I'll have it linked down below. It is so cute. I cannot believe I forgot to mention it. <laughs> And now, last but not least, my Johanna Parker finds. So my mother-in-law found me two of these and she gave them to me for Christmas. I already showed that in a vlog. I did, I think it was week three, maybe week four. I'll link it up in the corner. I haven't found any of the New Year's stuff. She has like this, um, I guess it's past New Year's now, but she has this Luna New Year collection and it's like this moon and she's so cute and I, Maybe someday. But I have had luck finding some of the Valentine's Day stuff. Some stuff I left on the shelves just because I didn't want it. I think I should let you know that I don't buy every Johanna Parker item I see. In fact, I leave half of it behind. I just buy the stuff that I like, love the way it looks or that we will use. So this one is one that I found and it's my very favorite one because it is the most usable mug, but it's just got this cute, oh, it's so cute. Her little face, her little cheeks, her eyes. I love her little bow tie, the polka dots down here. It has some swirl detailing on the back. And again, it's just the most usable mug. Um, her mugs are super cute, but sometimes not the most comfortable to drink out of, but it doesn't matter. It's freaking worth it. And also, can we discuss, she followed me on Instagram. I said that in a different video, but in case you missed it, the queen, Johanna Parker, designer of these things I love so much, followed me on Instagram and I died. But I got this one. There's also another one that's similar to it, but a little bit different. And if I found it, I would probably buy it, but I haven't seen it. This one was $9.99 at Marshall's. So cute, I had a gift card, so it was like Merry Christmas to me. And then the other one that I found on my own was this little like ghost, I guess. I don't even know what he is. <laughs> a Valentine's Day ghost, but I, again, loved his face. His eyes are hearts, they're so cute. I love the little hearts down the center. I found this one in store and I also found the um, octopus? Is that what it was? Spider? <laughs> Not an octopus. I found a spider and I was tempted, but again, these are kind of very small to drink out of. And he was super cute, but he looked very similar to the spider that I already have for Halloween. So I was like, I don't need both, but I did need this little ghosty guy because he was so cute. And then the ones my mother-in-law found for me, I love this one, it's like a little ladybug. It looks kind of like the ladybug from A Bug's Life, which Bradley loves, but I love the polka dots. I love her little heart ears, her little lips. Like, are you kidding me? And then my mother-in-law also found this little owl one, which at first 
like, she doesn't surprise me with these. She's a gem and <laughs> I've told the story before because she got me so many Johanna Parker things for my birthday. I did a haul, I'll link it up in the corner. Um, but she kind of, she saw one of the pieces in my kitchen and she was like, this is so cute. And I explained to her the whole thing about how it's this designer that I love, but it's kind of like a game that you have to chase down at home goods and all that stuff. And she kind of like took it on as her mission. She was like, oh, it's on. And so she goes for me all the time. She FaceTimes me. She's either FaceTiming me to see Milo or to show me something she found at home goods. And so she'll FaceTime me and she said, hey, I found this. Do you need this? And I'll either be like, no, I hate it. Or yes, I love it. And she'll, you know, whatever. So she did that with this owl and at first, over the phone, I couldn't tell. I was like, just buy it and then if we wanna return it, we can. Um, but I love it. She is so cute. I love the gray. I've mentioned I love when she incorporates gray. Again, she has little heart eyes. She's holding a little heart and I just thought it was so cute. So these were all $10.99. So the, the big mug and the small mugs are the same price. You can also get some of them in sets of two. It just depends on where you're at and what you find. What I really hope I stumble across by the end of the Valentine's Day season, I'll put a picture of it if I can find it, but it's kind of like this like creepy cat pitcher. It's like black and white striped. I love it. It's very creepy, but I need it in my life. So if I find it, I will be scooping that up. Um, and there's some other mugs that if I saw them, I would probably buy them. There's one that I think she looks like a mime. She's got like cute red lips and a white face. I think I'm remembering that correctly. But otherwise, I'm delighted to have found what I found. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the kitchen shelf yet, because I love those cakes, but I also wanna display the mugs. Ugh, oh, decisions, but we'll see. <laughs> I also reorganized a cabinet in my kitchen that has literally like all of my, not just Johanna Parker, but all of my like delicate, more kitchen breakable glassware for holidays. Um, it's the most fun cabinet to open. It's got everything in there but I just reorganized it and decluttered some of it and why I have room to grow, which is the best news. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is it. I just wanted to share some cute, fun Halloween. Nope, <laughs> I wish. Just wanted to share some cute, fun Valentine's Day decor stuff and stay tuned on here and on Instagram. I'll be making lots of fun reels at Amy Lynn Butchen. Um, you guys know, I love a holiday. I love a theme, I love decor. So I'm gonna decorate probably soon. It seems a little early to do it, but probably soon. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with some more videos. I'm gonna do an empties video coming up and then I'm excited about my January faves because I have so much to talk about already. <laughs> I'm gonna start up the vlogs again. So subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have my face somewhere you can click and subscribe. So all of some videos that you may have missed or you might enjoy that you can click and watch. But I love you guys oh so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Links are down below. Let me know any cute stuff you found and where you found it. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.